Good day guys, Austin here, and in this one today, we're going to be playing Trick Style, a game from 1999, which has just been ported over to Steam. Now, from the first look, from what I can see, this is a lazy port over to Steam. I know that it was released on the Dreamcast originally, later came onto the PC, especially onto GOG, and it's dated on there. There is quite a lot of graphical issues in terms of especially resolution and a few other little bugs here and there. But let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. First off then, what I can see is my controller doesn't work. <laughs> I can also tell that I'm playing this at the 800p resolution. And uh, well, this is the demo, as you can see, which is just loaded up because it took so long because I've got no control over my game as of yet it's a lazy port that's as far as i can tell you from so this far okay let's get in there let's try and get this set up so it's actually playable on steam on my pc okay so i'm gonna have to use a keyboard for now um options first off graphics ah <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. Good in-depth options. None changed in 17 years. Oh, come on. This has just been released onto Steam. The least you could have done is ported this a little tiny bit. Give us some enhancements, especially in terms of the resolution. I can understand the GOG guys because literally they just port things over. And you can actually, if it's the same kind of port, and I expect them to be that lazy if they've gone this far with it, to... You can go into the config files, you can go into the ini files, and you can literally manually change in the settings themselves the resolution. I'm not going to show you to do that. I'm not going to go through the hassle of it in this video today, but just Google it. You can get it done if you wish. I'm sure it'll work on this. Something that I don't know is, first off, how much this game costs, because I've given been given this game pre-release, so I have got early access. As of the Steam page, apparently it comes out tomorrow, it won't tell me how much it's worth. So if this is just a couple of quid, then yeah, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt on that. If this is anything more than that, then no, not good news all round. To be honest, even at a couple of quid, there's probably free games that you could play up to now which are probably tempting me more than going back to this. In fact, I would probably go through the hassle of emulating this game to get more options, especially in terms of the resolution. Oh my god. Lazy, lazy, lazy. So, anyway, I'm still on my keyboard for now because the controls ain't set. Let's see what we've got in terms of controls. Okay. Ah, so it does recognize my Xbox One controller. However, what I have to do is... Ah, oh, I have to do it manually. Ah, oh, this is a great video, isn't it? Left. I have to use a keyboard to set up my controller. Ace. Right. I suppose you have to do this once. Right. It doesn't give me much option on there either. Um, it's been ages since I've played this, so... I can't even remember which controls I should be doing because I haven't played the game to remind me what the controls do. Stall is no thing. I'm guessing that's slow down, break from my memory. Um, yeah, we'll do that then. Turn right. Tight turn, sorry. <laughs> this is horrible. Okay, we'll use that one. Whatever. Let's just get on with it. Lunge. Yep. Spin. Yep. Drill. Yep. <sighs> Menu. Okay. Hopefully, that makes sense when I'm in game. I got no idea. So far, bad start. There's no music either. That makes it even worse. It's not me. I've not turned it off for the copyright reasons or anything like that. There is literally no music in this right now. It is, again, pre-release. I'm sure it's like a, a beta version of the actual game, which is going to be released. But let's face it. This is just a port that is from, from the looks of it, the GOG version. Oh, Anyway, let's get a game going. Single player. Enter name. Okay, yep, I can use my control pad. Oh my god! There was no up and down on the control pad, so I can't use up and down. <laughs> oh, 
I bet that was something like stall or something like that, which I should have been putting in. Oh my god. So now I have to put the keyboard <laughs> to write in my name. Oh, this is bad. Come on. In. So yeah, I remember the being when I played the GOG version years back. Years back. Way back when. There was issues to do with the resolution, which again, I told you you could fix that, just Google it. And also there was bugs in terms of what well, I can remember, the controls, but I can't remember these types of bugs. I don't know, maybe I did and I just have happy memories of it. It's actually a good game, or it was back on the Dreamcast. Oh, so is this your name, yes. Some menu music would be a great addition. In fact, any sound at all. I'm not sure if this is all of a sudden become incompatible with sound. Okay. Okay, I can press my controllers again. It looks like there's no sound. Maybe it's my computer. I'll tell you what, guys. I'm going to put on some of my own tunes for you guys to relax too whilst I play this game. Um, yeah. Yeah. I'm actually going to be bothered playing this game now. Let's just choose anybody, come on. And Bison Man, let's do it. Yeah, sounds good to me. So, visually, no change. Skip training. Oh, I can't skip training <laughs> because the controller doesn't go down. Oh my god. The weird thing is, this isn't a problem with the game. If you was to emulate this game, you would get far smoother and probably far better experience. What am I supposed to be doing? I'm supposed to go up to that wall. It's been so long. Probably literally is 17 years since I've played this game. Practice mode. I don't want to go practice mode. I want to get into the full on game. Um. Continue. Okay. Take on the challenger or continue practicing. New challenge, yeah. Let's do it. I want to race. God, all this. You're making my eyes bleed. You're not making my ears bleed because I've put on my own tunes now. <laughs> okay. Looks like Beast Man from X Men has now uh, decided to take me on. As a formidable foe. I can't remember my buttons now. There's spin. Okay. Yeah, cool. I'm lunging. I'm going into lunge mode. Probably the worst time to do it also. I think I've missed a gate there, and I... There is a gate up there, and I can't even remember how... To do this. Uh, do you know what, guys? That is this game. I'm calling it quits. I've had enough of it, to be honest. It's the exact same game that was released, as far as I can tell, on GOG. And to be honest, I would quite happily just purchase it on GOG again, even though I already own it on GOG, because it's less hassle. <laughs> but that's if you want to pay for it. Oh my god. God, you're much better playing this on a Dreamcast emulator and playing the official Dreamcast version. That way you haven't got the issues in terms of the um, controls and you haven't got the issues in terms of especially the resolution because the emulator itself will have those options for you to tweak. In terms of the actual game, I can't tell you. I cannot be asked going through the hassle of editing it to get into a decent working state for me to say, yeah, good game, exactly the same game as 17 years ago. You've made no effort at all to port this over. And for that, no, no, very naughty of you. Unless this literally comes out tomorrow. I've got no idea the price, Steam Store isn't telling me. Unless this comes out tomorrow for like two quid. This is a no-go. Anyway, guys, it's been a pleasure as always. Please like, please subscribe. Please do all the things that people do when they just port games over, which you can get from somewhere else, probably for cheaper, and probably working a lot better. Or just emulate it. A 17-year-old game. 
it will be a lot easier. Anyway, guys, please like, please subscribe, like I just said all that stuff before. But most of all, you have a good day. Laters!